Man, man, we did add a uh, tight end to the roster, man. Um, Michael Pruitt. This is, uh, let's see, his ninth year, if I remember correctly. Um, obviously, he spent the past two seasons down in uh, Atlanta with Arthur Smith. Before that, he spent his first seven seasons with the Titans. Um, <clears throat> with Michael Pruitt, man, big body tight end. Um, realistically, man, that's your blocking tight end, though, man. In line guy. Can he give you some of the underneath drag routes, combat, catch stuff in the red zone on occasion? Yes, but that's not where he makes his hay. For him, he is a blocking tight end, man. You watch him in the run game, he's going to move people. You watch him um, at times when you want to match protect, he's going to make sure that your quarterback stays clean. He is that type of guy, but he's not per se the guy that you're – you're not using him per se as like lead blocking inside. You know what I mean? Like the whole Derek Watt fullback type. He is a true tight end. He is not a fullback to just clarify that. But in terms of, you know, what he brings is going to be the blocking element. I think right now he's direct competition for Darnell Washington. I don't view him as a Pat Fry move type guy, but in terms of Darnell's role, in terms of the big body blocking inline tight end, you get the, the drag route. You get the occasional fade or you get the vertical down there. That's what Michael Pruitt does. And I think he does a really good job at it. And I think that's the part when we're looking at Darnell Washington and we're seeing what we projected and kind of expected versus what we actually got. I think that this is that next, hey, it's time for your competition. We done brought Calvin Austin competition. What up, Quez Watkins? We done brought Russ competition, which was supposed to be for Kenny, right? But now Justin Fields, you're in here. Okay, cool. So to me, this is just another part of that, and I like it because either it's going to make Darnell Washington step up and be the player that we think he's capable of, or you're getting a vet who knows what he is doing. You're getting a vet that it's not going to get to this level ever, but he's never going to get to this level either. He's just going to be that steady Eddie, inline blocking tight end, drag rows, beats to the flat, throw the jump ball. He gonna be swagged out because he look good. That's one thing I do say. Like he 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 got that Ebron swag in terms of the tight end. He don't look stank out there. So, but that's he can catch better. But he don't get as much targets. Nor is he getting the, like Ebron to route you. He ain't routing. He ain't doing that. But he does catch the majority of the ones that you know get to him. Even though Desmond Ritter, oh man, it was Desmond one time? I forgot. It was uh, what was the other one they had on there, bruh. I'm like, yo, my man, just give him the layup, bro. They they making him work, bro. He's supposed to have a tutty and everything. I'm like, bro, just if you could just get it to him. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with this signing. You know? It, yeah. Like, hey, another guy to the tight end room. I wonder. Yeah, that's the question. How much is this dude potentially going to play? And I think mm -hmm. that's just dependent on how well Darnell Washington, or maybe even how well Connor Hayward meshes with the Arthur Smith system. Yeah. Because this guy, mm -hmm. even though he doesn't really have any production, he's, he's not a receiver. He's yeah. played a fair amount. Like he, he'll get out there for like 30, 40% of the snaps. Deke, you remember Matt Spafe, right? Yeah. He's their version of Matt Spafe when he was in Atlanta, when he was in Tennessee. That's what we bring him here to see if he can be that version. You're not Heath Miller. You're not Jesse James. You're not Pat Frymuth. You're the other guy. You do got to does all that dirty work. You're the Matt Spafe. You're the David Johnson type. You know? Like, go block that DN. That 4-3 DN is finna come into town. That's your guy. You're handling that one. When it's that 3 4 side line record, hey, go put them hands on that man, all right? Keep my quarterback clean. Yeah. Like, I don't really want to see this guy. Man, we shouldn't that if often. Darnell does what he's doing. Because, yeah, Darnell offers the upside in right. the passing game. He has that versatility. He can keep a defense off balance a little bit more mm -hmm. than Pruitt. Because if Pruitt's out there, you're not looking at him as a receiving threat mm -hmm. at all, unless you're in the red zone. Correct. Red zone. But Darnell, yeah. one of the reasons we drafted him, why he was an attractive prospect, not only is he great at blocking, but... He's really big. He's a huge target. Yeah, he can maybe get you four or five hundred yards a, a year yeah. as your tight end too. He has the height. Um, Pru is probably six two, six three ish. Darnell, we know that's six five, six six. Like, it's taller. 
Yeah, so there, there's <clears throat> nothing wrong with this move. Uh, it's not exciting. And I will be bummed if we do see him because it, it would mean something didn't click with Darnell and Connor yeah. Hayward. Yeah. And we're stuck at like a certain ceiling with this guy that mm -hmm. is just not where like a Darnell could be. Yeah. It'd be unfortunate. But, I mean, he's nice insurance. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's familiar with the Arthur Smith system. And Arthur Smith obviously likes him. Like, he was there for that whole Tennessee run for, like, yeah, five years. And then he time. met up with over. Arthur Smith the last two years with Atlanta. Think about it. Arthur Smith was the head man. He brought him over. Yeah. So, he's like, cool. That's his guy. They have a connection. Arthur Smith was the O-line coach, but he also was a tight ends coach in Tennessee before he took over the OC spot. So, he knows Michael Pruitt in and out so i'm like when i saw this be the guy he signed i'm like clearly you're saying to yourself who are guys that can implement my offense here who are guys that can run this offense and teach it to these guys cordell yeah, patterson 100 percent. hunter he can do that yep michael pruitt he could do that just like all right if you bring it who was you gonna bring it here from this van Art jefferson Van's is the other guy yeah <laughs> He was there last year. So it's been three. I, it's it, three. It feels like we've signed more Arthur Smith guys. Though, it does hasn't it? feel that way. because we've been linked to like Johnny Smith yeah. and a couple others. But you're right. I forgot Van was down there last year with the It feels train. like we've signed like five guys. So think from about the Arthur that. Smith you got a wide receiver, a running back, and a tight end all from the Arthur Smith system, bro. That's the play. That's for fact to play. Yeah, I like it. Because that's the same. Anytime you're coach league, remember I told you when Petten went to Cleveland? I was like, yo, we're about to go to Cleveland. That's that thought process, man. You gonna follow your guy, or if your guy wants you, for us it was just Coach T call. Like, I trust him. Still is way more than that. But yeah, I like this though. Because those guys are gonna have a certain level of comfort in this, a certain level of of uh ability to just like I said, teach that to the other players. But they're also gonna have a certain like part of them where they feel like, bro, I wanna make sure that I up pole, you know what I'm saying? Arthur wanting me to be here a part of this thing because we're going to look at those dudes and say, man, y'all, this isn't new to you guys. Like, you guys are supposed to be over here, like, mm, 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 seamless in this thing. So we don't want to see y'all over here looking slow, playing crazy or anything like that. Y'all should be the guys that look good to an extent early on in this thing, man. 